guys would not believe the fucking wedgie I have right now. Oh my god. For the love of god. My cat is chilling out underneath my chair, so if you hear something, it's just her being annoying, as per usual. Ruining my shot. Go away. Remind me to dig that out of my garbage. All right, first things first, I know. I look like Coraline. Start your comments now, start typing them out. Moving along. Hi, hello, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. First things first, well, I guess second things second. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers, wow. Um, ooh, there's a little, hello friend. A little white fuzzy. Uh, yeah, thank you for 2,000 subscribers. I am not worthy. I don't know why you subscribe because I know how annoying I am. So I know that you know. And that's all I gotta say. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm very awkward at formal types of things. So I'm just, that's all you get. I'm moving along. We're gonna get into the video now. You guys apparently like the things that I've thrifted in the past. I don't know how many thrift videos I've done. I think I've done like three, but I've gotten a few comments here and there. I think maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just got one and I'm just delirious. But basically the comment was like, oh, give us some thrift tips because apparently I get good things. And I mean, I think that I get good things. I'm a good thrifter. So I'm gonna tell you guys kind of like my little tips and tricks, what I do when I go thrifting. So I want to make a disclaimer right away. If you live in a small town that does not have a lot of thrift stores and you don't have access to a lot of secondhand shops, not that this isn't the video for you, but like take what I'm saying very lightly. I personally, I live in a big city. It's got like 600,000 people in it. I know I live in Wisconsin and a lot of people think that this is just all hick town, but I am privileged in the way that I have access to a lot of different thrift stores. So I have like six or seven thrift stores that I'll shop around at. So I do have access to a lot of different stores and a lot of different clothing. And with how many people live in my city, I have access to a lot of different styles. So I do just want to say that right away, like that is a big advantage that I have. Thrifting is something that I've done literally my whole life. It was kind of like a, like going thrifting and going to rummages and stuff was always like a summer thing for me, my mom and my sister to do. My mom and I still do it whenever we have off. I'm always going with friends. It's a grand old time. I'm not adverse to having secondhand things. It doesn't gross me out. It's not really gross at all. Literally all you have to do is come home and wash it and you're all good. So because of that, literally about like 90% of the things that I own are thrifted. My outfit right now, my shirt and my shorts are thrifted. If something that I have isn't thrifted, it's either probably from like H&M, some random store in the mall or just like Target or Walmart or whatever. Like obviously I'll buy like intimates there. And then shoes, well I'll talk about that later, but like normally 90% of the time I'll buy shoes from like Journeys or the websites of the brand. So anyways, we're gonna get right into this. Two main things that I wanna say is one to check every section depending on your size obviously minus the kids clothes try not to stick to like just men's or just women's everything is gender neutral who fucking cares it's clothes so look everywhere try to like surf around look in areas where you wouldn't normally look you don't wear jogging pants that's fine look there anyways because you may you may find something you never know which brings me to my second thing which is gonna save you a bunch of time because you're looking all around the fucking store that's gonna be to look for colors patterns and textures that you like rather than specific items of clothing and rather than shuffling through all these different types of clothes that you may or may not want to wear. For example, I wear very neutral colors. I tend to stick to only black, gray and white and when it comes to colors i'll do mustard tones browns navy blues army greens and like really dark reds like maroons and stuff so when i go thrifting obviously i'm not gonna be sitting in the floral section looking at all these different types of floral shirts that i know that i'm not going to wear instead i'm gonna go right to the black section the gray section the yellow section the red section every section where it has colors that i know that i like honestly that's like the only thing that I can tell you, but obviously that would make this video very short, which I don't mind, but there is like a little bit more that I can give you. And that is kind of what my routine is when I go thrifting. I don't know why I keep doing this. I need to stop, but it's all right. Man, quick side note. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to, uh, 
stuff my face with nachos just letting you know so what I'm gonna tell you guys is how I like to look through thrift stores and I'm gonna show you some things that I've bought to give like examples of stuff and I'm gonna take you through like the order in which I do things which obviously this isn't the exact order that I'll do things all the time like when I go thrifting but it's kind of like my general thought process where I'm like okay check this check that check that check that all right time to time to wander about so first thing that I do when I walk into a thrift store is I go right to the bags or the bags wherever they are in the store or the bags whatever not that I particularly need anything like a bag or whatever or a purse or anything like that but it's always fun to just check now this is one of two bags that I got the other bag is in the back of my mom's car because I used to use it in high school and the leather ripped and it's been four years and we still haven't gotten it fixed so anyways this is one bag that I got thrifting just a nice little backpack it's got a zipper on the back got the whole this situation here this zips up you can wear it over you know what I'm talking about. Come on, bitch. This is really nice for if you're gonna go on a walk or a hike or you just wanna hang out with your friends. I don't really like wearing stuff like this to festivals. I know some people do, but um, I'm paranoid of people stealing my stuff. So after I'm done looking at the bags, I go straight over to the men's section and I go right to the black t-shirts. Sometimes we'll have them sectioned off like plain shirts and then graphic tees. I'll go to the graphic tees, black t-shirts, doesn't matter what size, I just look for band tees. This is how you find band tees. They're always in the men's section like 99% of the time and most of them are black so. I've gotten a corn shirt, I've gotten an Every Time I Die Christmas sweater, I've gotten like a Devil Wears Prada shirt, I got a The You shirt in the men's section. If they're not in the men's section you may find one or two scattered about in the women's section which I have before. It's just never band shirts that I like or bands that I listen to. Now after I'm done looking at the band tees or the men's shirts I'll go over to the men's flannels. Now everybody needs a good flannel. I used to have a lot because you know cliche 2013 posi vibes pop punk kid that triggered me. I used to have a lot of flannels but I got rid of a lot of mine and I kind of try to only keep like my staples. So one that I have that is a huge staple for me is this one. I literally wear this all the time. This is my fall and spring jacket. This is very long. You can also wear this as a dress if you button it up. It's a men's XL tall, so that's why it's like super long. I'm 5'2", so it goes to my knees, and I love it. It's the most comfy thing ever. It smells like shit. I need to wash it. Another flannel is this one. This is just a dark brown with some reds and blues in it. Or, I don't know a tan, whatever you want to call it. Once again, XL. Love me some oversized clothing. It's Tommy Hilf Hilfiger. I don't know how to say that. After that, I go to the women's section and I look at the workout clothing. This is where I'll find name brand things like Adidas, Nike, and sometimes I'll find like mall brands. So like I found a pair of Old Navy leggings, Victoria's Secret leggings, which I mean, this is one of them. It's like a yoga style. Well, it's pink, so whatever. Same thing. And then stuff like this. Actually, the shorts that I'm wearing. Ugh. These got thrifting. Ooh, love a little jiggle. So yeah, I always check the women's workout section because that's where you find the name brand workout stuff. And even if you don't work out, it's just kind of nice to have name brand things sometimes. Not that I particularly care about it, but like I'm a broke bitch. So sometimes I like looking a little expensive, you know? So once I'm done with the workout section, oh wait, I'm not done actually. <laughs> Another thing that you'll find in the workout section are jogging pants and sweat shorts. I guess that's what you'd call it. Stuff like this. Essentially PJ bottoms and stuff like this. Essentially PJ bottoms. You can also find these in the men's section. Now after I'm done with that I go over to the jeans. Now jeans is usually very easy. You find what size you are. For me I'm a size 5. I go to the size 5 section. Now instead of looking at all the jeans on top because 90% of the times they'll section off like just regular blue jeans from like the colored jeans or the trousers and because all the jeans look the same what you want to do is instead of looking at the top you're gonna look at the bottom of the jeans. Why do we do this? Because 90% of the jeans that are at thrift stores are uh, flare jeans or like straight legged or they have some ugly ass design on it that nobody wants. So to save yourself some time, find your size, time to look at the cut of all the jeans. Look for the cut that you like. If you like flare jeans, all power to you. I don't like it, but I look for skinny jeans because I'm still stuck in 2009. I do that with jeans and then when I go to the shorts section, that's pretty easy. Just find your size, look at all the shorts. And it's usually easy with the shorts to find like name brand or mall brand things. 
leggings. This is a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch jeans that I bought recently at Goodwill and they're um, extremely comfy. And the best part is, bitch, they got front pockets. They a bit small, but they're real, so shout out to that. Now, if you're a mom jeans ass bitch, what you wanna do is go a size up and look for your jeans there. Mom jeans, I think, is a little bit harder because there's a certain style and fit that everybody likes. I mean, for me personally, I never try anything on when I go thrift shopping, like, never. I always size up with mom jeans because I like that baggier kind of look. I actually only have one pair of mom jeans right now. Well, one pair of thrifted mom jeans. And this pair was actually, like, a luck thing like I got these out of nowhere I was just chilling walking past saw these hanging on the rack put them up to my waist and I was like oh these look like they might fit I actually think that they're a men's all I know is that it's I don't know I guess it's like a size 10 MISL what the fuck that means I don't know maybe it is a woman's who knows next thing is to go to the men's sweaters for comfy sweaters women's sweaters are 90% of the time like they list them as sweaters but they're actually like cardigans or pullovers or like zip up things that's not a sweater bitch a sweater is a t-shirt but thicker this ain't a sweater this is a long sleeve t-shirt these are sweaters all of these i got in the men's section as you can see they're very colorful uh, i got a bleach sand on this one ignore it they're very colorful and very stylish and they all fit me perfectly which is a lie they're all oversized and they're all black and gray i love me some neutral ass sweaters some big oversized sweaters that go to like mid thigh for the winter time it's a great time we love it then after that i go to the women's section again for crop tops same rule applies look for colors and patterns that you like as you can see like i said i'm a very neutral bitch. This is just a nice little gray crop top. This is a really baggy one actually, but it's like really friggin' comfortable. And then there's this one too, which is also striped and black and white, but it's a different style than that one. So you can lick my taint. And a good tip is if you can't find any crop tops in the women's section that you like, go back to the men's section in the t-shirts, like the plain t-shirts, find a t-shirt that you like in the color that you like, in the style that you like, and just cut it. That's what I've done. I've done that with like two t-shirts. They're in the wash right now, so I can't really show you, but yeah, it's a1. Last thing I check is dresses. Normally for the Goodwills that I go to or the thrift stores that I go to with the dresses, they just literally have like a fat row on the back wall that's just uh smushed with dresses. I'm one of those people who goes through every single one for absolutely no reason because I want to see uh, what's hidden in the back. And then my arms hurt and I still don't have bicep muscles, but it's fine. This is just an example of a dress that I found. This is a Forever 21 dress. This is another one that I found, which is literally not at all anything that I would wear, but I was in love with this. So I said, fuck it. I gotta have it. The last thing that I check is the shoes. I mean, I'll go to like the odds and ends areas, but that's not, nobody cares about that. But the last thing that I check is the shoes. And do I ever find anything there? Rarely. I rarely find good shoes and if I do they're uh, not my size or they're completely just busted. So that brings me to my next little tip which is if you live in an area that's pretty rural, something that's very good that will help you out that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about, it's Depop. Now obviously this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm who would sponsor me. But Depop is great because you can put in the exact style shoe that you're looking for, the exact color, the exact size, and you can find it. And you can go through different options to see who has different prices. Just two examples of that are this pair of Doc Martens that I got. These retail for like, I think 70 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. And I got these for like 40 bucks or 50 bucks, I'm not sure. Either way, didn't pay $70 for these, so that's a bargain. And then another pair that I got is just this black pair of Converse. I got these for, I think, 30, 35 dollars which normally these retail for about 55 60 another bargain bitch and that brings me to the end of this video I hope that wasn't too long and I hope you guys take something out of this because like I said I've been thrifting for a very long time and I kind of just like got my routine down kind of know what I like what I don't like where to look and where not to look so yeah that's all I gotta say thank you so much for watching once again thank you for 2,000 subscribers and um, make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.